Bonjour tout le monde. I know the long weekend coming is very important to many Canadians. Whether you mark Good Friday or Passover, Easter, Tamil New Year, or Vasaki, usually this is a time we spend together. You might go to church or to temple or to volunteer. Last year, when I served a community lunch in Hamilton, I saw just how much people come together over these next few days. But right now, this weekend is going to be very different. You'll have to stay home. You'll have to Skype that big family dinner. And the Easter egg hunt, well, it'll have to happen around the house instead of around the neighborhood. I want to take a moment on that to have a word with kids out there. The Easter Bunny has a big job to do this year, and maybe there's something you can do to help. Ask your parents to let you put up a picture in the window to bring some extra chocolate for nurses and doctors. They need a lot of energy to keep us all safe. And this is how you can help them to do their job. Peu importe notre âge, on a tous notre rôle à jouer pour contrer le coronavirus. Plus tôt cette semaine, j'ai mentionné que Santé Canada avait lancé un appel aux bénévoles pour aller prêter main forte à nos travailleurs de première ligne. Et déjà, plus de 27 000 personnes se sont inscrites pour les aider et leur donner un peu de répit. D'un bout à l'autre du pays, vous êtes nombreux à faire votre part et je veux vous en remercier. Vous êtes là les uns pour les autres et je sais qu'ensemble, on va traverser cette épreuve. These are tough times, but you don't have to go through them alone. If you've lost your job and are having troubles making ends meet, you can apply for the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. Millions of people have already had their claim processed and they're getting their $2,000 deposit. Remember, you can apply today or this weekend if you haven't done so yet by going to canada.ca or calling 1-800-959-2041. If you own a small business and are struggling to pay the bills or pay your staff, we launched the Canada Emergency Business Account yesterday. You can now get a $40,000 interest-free loan through your bank or credit union. And if you repay it within two years, 25%, up to $10,000, of that loan is forgivable. It'll only take a few days for you to receive the full amount in your account. That's money you can use for whatever you need, whether it's monthly expenses or paying employees. On that note, we're getting closer to implementing the wage subsidy, too. We're working with other parties to get this in place as quickly as possible. Tomorrow, we're bringing back the House of Commons to pass the largest economic measures Canada has seen since World War II. It's really important, despite a time of crisis, in fact, in, because of a time of crisis, that our institutions remain strong and our democratic principles continue. Therefore, this address to Canadians tomorrow will be a little later and from the floor of the House of Commons. And on that note, I'll be taking Sunday and Monday with Sophie and the kids. But I'll be back Tuesday with more updates on how we're helping you. If you just feel overwhelmed, we'll soon have more to say about how you can access resources that can help. If you're in crisis, reach out, lean on each other, and know that we will get through this together. <clears throat> All across the country, there are stories of people stepping up to do their part. To ensure that Canadians are safe and our frontline workers have the support they need, we're helping companies join in the effort. Look no further than Fluid Energy from Alberta. They will produce over a million litres of hand sanitizer each month, with shipments starting as early as next week. We've invested in this large-scale production as part of our plan to have enough vital supplies produced right here at home. When Canadians work together, we get things done. Hier soir, je me suis entretenu encore une fois avec la vice-première ministre Freeland et les premiers ministres des provinces et des territoires. Dès le début, on a vu beaucoup de monde rejoindre les rangs de l'équipe Canada, dont les premiers premier ministres. On est tous sur la même longueur d'onde et on travaille tous ensemble pour assurer votre sécurité. Au cours du long week-end, on va tous devoir rester chez nous. On ne peut pas recevoir pour le souper et on va devoir faire preuve de créativité pour organiser une chasse aux œufs à l'intérieur de la maison. Mais 
n'est pas parce qu'on est séparé physiquement qu'on ne peut pas être là les uns pour les autres. Organisez un souper de famille sur FaceTime. Appelez vos amis. Et si vous avez les moyens, faites un don à un organisme. Ce long week-end de Pâques ne sera pas comme les autres, mais je sais quand même qu'il sera rempli de joie, de rire et d'amour. Merci tout le monde.